All righty, we are recording. Okay, here we are. First call for our challenge group. Um, 57 people are starting it off today. Let me, what, what I already, already asked if I could share a couple of the emails that I got because um, they are amazing. And um, what I mentioned a while ago, if y'all didn't hear, was that what happens in the group stays in the group. What we share stays in the group. And so um, don't be afraid to share struggles. Don't be afraid to share, you know, highs and lows. Um, we are not going to go blasting somebody's personal stuff out there. But, um, but I do want it to be a safe group. Okay, do y'all agree? I mean, I, we need a place that we can be real and be safe. Um, but not a, don't be real negative. I just can't stand a bunch of negative, okay? Um, it's different if you're looking for help. But if you're just being negative, I, we won't do that. Because um, negative, negativity breeds negativity, okay? Um, let me just read this for you real quick. Okay, here's one. I'm not going to say who wrote it. I don't even, I don't even, I don't see them on this first page of people. Let me see. I don't even know if they're on this call right now, but, um, mm -hmm. okay. I don't see them. That's okay. Okay. Listen to this. What excites me the most about the six weeks challenge group is the fact that I'm going to have an accountability partner. I can't wait to have someone at the same level, ready to go in the same direction with the same desires that I have. Mm -hmm. Know that this person does not want to quit because things are getting tough. Together we will work through the challenges. I'm excited to reach my goal for the past year and a half. I've wanted to be wanted to have someone to hold hands with together with setting goals and praying for each other and encouraging one another. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Periscope. <laughs> now I lost my place. Okay. As we travel up in the company, there are times of the year and a half of this year and a half that I felt somewhat alone in this journey. I have felt discouraged. Not earning events was tough, but even through disappointment and discouragement, I didn't want to give up. I believe in the products. They work for me and my family. I'm thankful that for the monthly income and that comes just at the right time every month. God does provide. I'm excited for your leadership and for a partner and for this small group. I'm not going to lie. The six weeks is going to be crazy busy, but I know I can do it. Do it. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm thankful that you asked me to be a part of this. I'm excited to see what is to come. So, you know, what's so cool is, um, do you realize that the people who are the busiest and the craziest, think about all the groups that you're in, whether it's at work or school or church those people that are busy and involved in everything and that organize things and get things done, they're the most successful, aren't they? Because, and they're the ones that everybody calls on because they know that they're going to get something done because they're the busiest, right? So, um, I love that. I did get a couple of people saying, you know what? These six weeks are just going to be too busy. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it. Da, 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 da. And, um, so, um, <laughs> somebody saw that I read her letter. Um, anyway, I just, you know, I just want you to realize we're all busy. Y'all, I have four kids when I started and the little one was 18 months old. And um, now I have three kids doing select sports. Those of you with kids in selector club sports understand what I'm talking about. I've got a team of over 14,000 people. I've got people that come to me that aren't on my team asking for help. Um, and I don't like to turn anybody away, but I just want you to know busy people get things done. Okay. Don't think I'm going to give you something you can't do. And don't think I'm going to give you something that I wouldn't do. And that I'm not going to do, I'm going to do this right along with you. Okay. As a leader, it's just as important for me to keep growing my business and to keep working as a brand new ambassador as it is for everybody that's trying to get to the top. Just because, you know, I've been a diamond for over a year and a half now doesn't mean that I need to stop working to get to be a diamond. Does that make sense? So, um, anyway, I want to read one more, um, email to y'all. <laughs> Where did it go? I have a favorite. Sorry, y'all. Hmm. This is a cute one. Sometimes you just need a swift kick in the rear. You know what to do. You know how to do it. You've seen other people do it, but you simply don't do it. You beat yourself up for not doing it, and then you make that promise that you never seem to keep. I'll start when? Tomorrow. You're right. That's my story. I'm the queen of self-sabotage. Raise your hand if you're the queen of self-sabotage. 
Um, this person is not in the boat alone, I promise. I've read and listened to a slew of network marketing and personal growth books. I've watched a ton of YouTube trainings, meetings, videos, listened to team weekly phone calls. I've attended many meetings to listen to all the fabulous testimonies and gain knowledge. I have just not taken that purposeful leap to reach out to people. I'll tell you anything you want to know if you ask me. However, I know now that way of thinking is detrimental to my business and I simply need a swift kick. I'm so glad you asked us to write this. It made me actually sit down and analyze my past actions. They say admitting that you have a problem is the first step, right? Well, now my confession is complete. I'm hopeful that being part of an accountability group will be my next step and that it will ultimately help me shed my fears, jump in with both feet and never look back. Thank you for all of your continued support and positivity. Let's do this. Love it. That sounds like actually um, there's quite a bit of them that sound like that, that just needed the, the quick kick in the honey. Um, you know, I've got anybody on here from um, brand new to um, somebody that's, that was one of my very first ambassadors on my team. I've got people that, um, you know, are about to be emerald. I've got people that are still trying to get to silver. Um, I've got a brand newbie that just, you know, wanted a, a way to, um, to get going. Oh, we have 60 now. Okay. Hang on real quick. Let me. Okay. We're all muted. All right. So, um, anyway, I just, I love that. I'm going to read one more. Okay. One more, one more, one more. Okay. Here's a good one. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me get this off. Okay. So as I thought about what to say, how to say it, my why changed multiple times. Anybody else? You're, you're writing something down and you're thinking, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted to say. Let me, let me start over. I knew I needed to know my why and stick with this uh, to answer. Why should I be allowed in the six week challenge and why I will be committed for six weeks. And all three answered themselves as I sat this afternoon and waited to take my son to an early doctor appointment. You see, I was reading the post over and over and looked myself in the face of my rear view mirror and it hit me like a ton of bricks. When I started Plexus in May of 2014, I was in this for one thing, the money. Well, you and I both know I stopped and canceled and quit Plexus because of health issues and money. After everything I went through, the pain, the meds, the weight gain, the money, the physical therapy, I was in a bad place mental and physically. So why should I be allowed in this challenge and why will I be committed for six weeks? Well, it's the same answer as my why I came back to Plexus. My children. I want to live. I want to be healthy. But most of all, I want to be able to live my life with my children. That's why I believe and know that this, that I will accept this challenge, make the strides needed to move forward and change my life and health. Why? Because of my kids. So y'all have blessed me hugely with these, um, these emails. And I just, I love that, that you're committing to this and that you're ready to go to the next level. Um, I need to share. Hold please. Okay. I have the rules for the group. I'm going to just put them in our group so that we don't have to like go over all the rules for the group. But, um, the main thing is, and I'm, we're not going to, you know, stay on here for a long time. This first, the first night, um, I will open it to, um, to some questions here in just a minute, but, um, really I want you all to know that our, this group is a safe group. It's to help you get out of your comfort zone. The first thing was writing that paragraph, which a lot of you told me was getting out of your comfort zone right off the bat, just to, and, and really to, to think about your why. Now I think it's easy when somebody says, what is your why? And, um, and you're like, well, my why is I want to, you know, I want to get out of debt and I want to, um, say for kids college and I want to do all this stuff. But until you write it down, does it really, are you really getting it? Are you, does it really mean anything to you? So for our, um, for our homework for this week, um, that's the first thing actually. And if you've already done it in your email, that's great. Print off your email. And I, and I actually responded to some of you and I said, print this out, put this where you can see it, highlight the main points. 
um, because you're finding out your why is very important to keeping you going when the going gets tough. Okay. My why has changed many times during my journey. I mean, if you think about it, my why now is to get as many of you to where I am now because, um, financial freedom, um, you know, being with the, the top ranks of the company is, uh, is pretty amazing. And the fact that, um, that I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Um, and I can do it and I can work around my, my kids crazy schedules. So I want you to write down your why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing Plexus? Why are you taking the products? Why are you sharing with people about Plexus? Um, once you write that down, I want you to print it out. Okay. The next thing you're going to do, um, is you're going to make a dream board and this is real or virtual. Some people say, you know what? I'd rather just go get, go to the dollar store and get a big poster board and cut out things out of a magazine and make my dream board on that. That's great. If that, you know, if you're artsy craftsy, you might want to do that. If not, you might want to get, um, there's an app that I have called pick collage and, um, and you can actually put in pictures like you can put in your kids pictures or whatever you want to put in there. New house, vacation, um, college, private school, the things that, you know, would be on your dream board, put on your um, pit collage. Um, so you're going to have your why, and then you're going to have your dream board. Okay. Your dream board needs to be your screensaver. So if you've made it on your phone, that's easy to make it your screensaver. If, um, if you've made it like with the poster board, just take a picture of it and put it as your screensaver. Okay. I want you to see it every time you get to, you turn on your phone. And then I need you to work on, if you haven't done this or if you have done this, I want you to do a new list of 100, okay? Your list of 100, um, to, be, to think of people that would go on that list, look in, who are you Facebook friends with that is not a Plexus ambassador? Write their name down. Look in your email um, address, your address book on your emails and uh, write those people down. Um, and you can use the Franks. Uh, method to help you remember people too. And it's friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, your kid connections, and your spouse connections. Okay. Um, in our files in Journey to Gems, there's, a, I think there's a page in there called Frank's that you can print out if you wanted to do that. Um, you can even just Google Frank's and it comes up. So a lot of different uh, companies use the Frank's method to, to name in people, but you want to make your list. Okay. Sometimes you make your list and you're like, well, I'm not putting them on my list because there is no way they would ever do Plexus. And you know what? That person might be the one that needs it the most. And they're probably going to hear it from somebody else. It might as well be you. Okay. From that list of 100, I want you to ad identify 10 hot prospects. Now, if you've been on my team for over a year, you know, and you haven't done a new list of 100, this is a great time for you because you may think, well, I've already done this. Well, have you updated it? Because that list needs to be changing all the time. You need to be scratching names off, moving them over to your customer list, moving your customer list over to your ambassador list. There's, that should be a constant working list. So if you haven't done it yet, or if you've already done it and you need to do a new one, now's a good time. Um, I want you to choose one network marketing book to start reading. We don't all have to do the same one, but um, two favorites are Rock Your Network Marketing Business. This one, if you don't have this one yet, you should get it. Sarah Robbins, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. The other one that's a really good one is Millionaire by Halftime, and it is by Presley Swaggerty. And you can only get it on his site. It's uh, P R E S L E Y S W A G E R T Y. So, um, Presley Swaggerty, Millionaire by Halftime. He's actually from um, the Dallas area, which is kind of funny. Um, okay. Uh, those of you here, I am going to be uh, setting up partners. Now, your partner in the group is not necessarily going to be the same rank as you. They're not necessarily going to be in the same spot as you, but guess what? You're both on this six week journey together. Okay. So you can encourage each other on this six week journey um, and getting your, you encourage each other to get your homework done. You can encourage each other with ideas that you've done. You can um, just, you know, um, make sure that you friend them on Facebook. The coolest thing is, um, and I have set people up with, 
Power Partners, uh, for a long time I've been working, I've done that several different times in our leaders groups and different things. But um, when I, whenever I'm set up with a partner and I know that, uh, that my partner is counting on me to do something, it makes me work harder because I know that they need me to, to fulfill my part of it, right? So this isn't like, you know, your science experiment at school where you're going to get a grade and you're going to get a poor grade because your partner didn't work. If your partner leaves for whatever reason, it's not going to be bad on you. Okay, we'll get you another partner. And I was asking Sarah about this. I was like, oh, this partner thing has got me stressed out because I know somebody's going to complain. They don't like their partner or are their partners not doing their part. And she said, listen, you know, it's normal for people to um, need to get out of the group for whatever reason. If somebody doesn't have a partner, you find there's always somebody else that they can partner up with. If there's somebody that, that if you're at an odd number, then you be their partner for that week and it will work itself out of promise. I said, okay, I will take your word for it. She's the expert. So we're going to follow her. Um, anyway, so I will be doing that later tonight and I will uh, list the partners in our group as well. You need to introduce yourself with your partner and share your story. That doesn't necessarily mean you have a big pleximony and no yawning. I see you. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's late. Y'all yawn. I don't care. Um, so, <laughs> um, love you. Anyway, um, I want you just to make sure that your partner knows that, that you're there for them, that you, um, you know, are to, to bounce ideas off of one another. The cool thing is there's, you know, you may be a senior Ruby, your partner might be a, um, a silver or whatever. Terry, ha ha, you're so funny. But um, it doesn't matter because I get good ideas from goals. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter where you are in your journey. We're, on the, we're in this six weeks together. Okay, so there you go. You're going to friend your partner on Facebook. Introduce yourself. I want you to order if you do not have these catalogs. We are going to need them for some things coming up, okay? These are in your back office. Have y'all seen these? Y'all, some of y'all are looking at me like, what is that? Okay, so these are the catalogs in the back office. I love them and use them all the time. So, okay, it opens up, talks about the company, has all our products in it, all the pricing. And I believe you get, don't you get like 25 of them for like $15 or something? It's pretty cheap. Isn't that right? Let's see some nods. Okay. Yeah. So get these. They're cheap. They're in your back office. Um, you need them to do some things coming up. So next time you, you know, you need all the, you know, it's into the mess. I'm, I'm sure y'all need something else you need to order anyway. Just order that and then order your catalogs. Um, and then let's see what else is next. What do you need to do? Okay. You're 10 people from your list of 100 that you just did. Remember you pulled out your 10 hot prospects. You need to text, email, or call them. Okay, this week. I know that's going to be hard. Um, but I want you, you just need to reach out to them, okay? And make sure that they know um, what you're doing and be sure to say, hey, have you heard of Plexus? You know, I want you just to reach out to them. I don't really care how you do it as far if you want to say, you know, use the, um, have you heard of Plexus? Or you can even, if it's a friend or something, you can say, okay, listen. Um, I know you are, you have a kid going into college and I know that you, um, that, you know, extra money would be awesome for you. And let me just tell you about, um, this awesome way that you can actually earn some extra money without having to have any inventory or anything, but you're actually could change lives along the way as well. When you mention the whole change lives thing for getting people healthier and off their medications, people are like, well, how am I going to change somebody's life? You know? And so I, it usually helps to start a conversation with people. So you're going to reach out to your 10 people on your, your list. Okay. And then the last thing I want you to do, and I know this, you know, I'm giving you all a long list. So I'll, I'll put this in the group as well, but I want you to, um, to write down your typical day. Okay. So now here we are at the end of our day. Why don't you just write down what you did today, your whole day, um, and don't lie to your, this is for yourself. I don't want you lying to yourself. Don't say, well, I, you know, I'd work my business, you know, for three hours in here and here. Um, if you really didn't do that, don't put that in. Okay. I want you to be honest, write a typical day. And then I want you to write down, um, and you know, that same, I want you to get another piece of paper, put it right next to that day and write where you could have added plexus into your life during the day. Because what we do is we forget that, as business owners that we make the decision when we work, 
right? We can decide when we work plexus, when we, you know, get on Pinterest and get, you know, stuck because that's what Pinterest does. It sucks you in. Um, so does Facebook. If you need to set an alarm on your phone for Facebook, please do. And it's don't feel bad. Say, you know what? I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to scroll through Facebook. Set an alarm on your phone. 15 minutes is up. Stop and do something productive. Okay. Because all of a sudden you'll say, gosh, I was just so busy today. Well, you had time to, you know, post on everybody else's posts and welcome everybody to every group there ever was on Facebook. Did you do any income producing activities for you? Oh, well, no, I ran out of time. Well, what's going to grow your business? Welcoming people to a group or contacting somebody that could be your next rock star? Because let me tell you, you don't need a ton of rock stars to be a big deal with Plexus. You do not need a ton of people on your team that get it to make it to the top. Okay. I have got one diamond as a level one. I've got one sapphire that's about to be a diamond as a level one. I've got a ton of other um, senior rubies, senior golds, golds, ambassadors, senior ambassadors, but I have two big rock stars. Does that make sense? So, I mean, and, and I didn't even have them when I turned emerald. They weren't, they were not gems or jewels. When, when I turned emerald, I did not have a jewel. Okay. So you do not need a ton of rock stars to get to the top. You just need um, a couple. Okay. But of course it's a numbers game. So you want to be wide because you never know who's going to be that rock star, right? And, you, and if you're guessing and you're wrong and you put all your eggs in this one basket and you have neglected, you know, Sally over there who you thought, oh, she's never going to do it, you know, and Sally's over there going, oh, I just wish I could get some attention so that I could grow my business, you know, don't neglect people that, um, that you don't think are going to be your next rock star because you just, you really never know. So, um, anyway, so I want you to make, I got off on a squirrel, but if, I want you to make, um, your DMO because you've, you know, right after your day that you already had, so you can see what did I do today? And then I want you to see where could I have put Plexus into my day? Okay. It could have been, you if you want to do it tomorrow, you can, but you know, today's good because today was Monday. So, you, you know, it's a full day and then right where you could have put it in. And then I want you to make another page and I want you to say, um, you know, do a DMO of, you know, where you're um, purposefully going to put time in for Plexus. You know, purposefully, I'm going to work Plexus while, you know, Sinclair's taking a nap. Purposefully, I'm going to work Plexus uh, first thing in the morning. You know, before I even get out of bed, I want to send a follow-up message to somebody. Um, I want you to try to remember to do income producing activities, IPA, first. And um, even if you have to put a little sticky note on your computer or, you know, on your nightstand or something to say, um, have I paid myself today? Have you done any income producing activities today? That means what that means, whatever you did, whether it was a follow up, whether it was a, uh, a new email, whether it was a um, contacting a customer about a potential, you know, a coffee date. Those are things that could bring income to you, right? Because they could become a customer. They could become an ambassador. It's an income producing activity. Um, you know, saying happy birthday to somebody on Facebook is great, but that is not an income producing activity. Um, you know, spending, you know, adding a ton of stuff to your team pages is great because you're training, but that is not an income producing activity for you. Okay. And the thing, and I do have a lot of leaders on here. I asked my one through three group and I also asked my leaders, my golden up, if y'all wanted to be in this group. So we've got a big mix in here. Um, and when you start growing a team, you can get distracted on that management side and forget about your IPA side, your growing your team side. So we're going to, we're going to do some of that here too. Okay. So that's it for this week. Now for points with your partner. So one of the reasons that you're going to have um, a partner is because together you can earn points and, um, and, and y'all keep up with this together yourselves. Okay. And you would get every week, you can get one point for a new customer, two points for new ambassadors and three points. If you, if somebody promotes, so, you know, if you turn silver, um, turn gold, whatever for a promotion, 
So it's here's end of the month. We might have some promotions and you get three points for that. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask people with the different, with points, whoever has the most points can, um, can talk on the group and share in the group with what they did that week to help um, get to, you know, complete their challenges or what was challenging about that week or what they did that worked that week. Okay. We're also going to have prizes because y'all know I love prizes and I love contests. So um, getting points is good. You're not going to be, I'm not going to slap your hand if you don't get points, but I think that if you can push each other to get points and get on the call and talk on the call, um, and have something to share on the call, then, um, then you can get points and, um, be in a position to earn prizes. Okay. Can I please repeat how we get the points? Okay. So one point for new customers, two points for new ambassadors and three points if you promote. And I will add this to our group too. I'm going to put it in our, our team page. So there may be a couple of you on the call tonight who have not sent me your, um, your why you should be in the group video and please do that tonight because I'm using and please send it to the correct email address. I'm keeping them all in that. I made that email address just for this group so that I can keep up with who sends me what. And that's where I'm going to pair the, the uh, partners as well. Okay. So y'all listen, I'm spending a ton of time on this group because I believe in you, every single one of you, um, that you can do this. Okay. This is something that, um, I've wanted to do, but I've always felt nervous because I do have such a big team that I don't want to leave anybody out. You know, I have that fear of, Oh, well everybody, you know, I should let everybody in it and everybody do it, but that's not the way that these work best. Um, and so I want to make sure that we keep it manageable and smaller so that y'all can encourage each other. Use the group, um, participate in the group. People, bless you, people who participate <laughs> um, are the ones that promote. I'm serious. You look in the groups and you see the people, you recognize their names because they participate and they, um, they encourage others. That's another thing you should do every single day is find somebody to encourage. It doesn't have to be on your team. Um, it's good if they're on your team. Um, just somebody. Find somebody to encourage, and it will make you feel better as well. Okay, I'm going to go through this list one more time, and then I'm going to, um, to end our call for tonight. And we're going to meet every Sunday night at 9. And, um, yes, Leaders Retreat will happen during this. I don't know. I should actually Sunday night. I think I'm home. No, I'm not. I'm there. We might do it while I'm in DC. Okay. Listen. Okay. So you're going to write down your why and you're going to print it out. Okay. Or take or tap it out, whatever you want to do. If it's the email you sent to me, if that's your why, that's fine. Just print it out so you can highlight the important things and you can see it when you're, um, when you're feeling down. I want you to make a dream board real or virtual. Okay. So you're either going to do this on your phone or you're going to do it on poster board. I don't care but I want you to save it as your screensaver. I also want you to share it in the group. And so we'll have a place in there where you can share that. Um, it's fun to see everybody's dream boards and to see what everybody's going after. Cause you might see somebody else's and be like, yeah, I want that too. I'm going to get that too. Um, make your list of 100. Ident identify 10 hot prospects. You know what? I say 100. Some of you could go to 500 because you know so many people and that's fine. I just want you to get as many as you can. It's not necessarily a hundred. Okay. Choose one network marketing book to start reading. Get a highlighter. Keep it with your book. Okay. It's either going to be Rock Your Network Marketing Business or Mar Millionaire by Halftime by Presley Swaggerty. The Rock Your Network Marketing Business is by Sarah Robbins. Okay. Um, you're going to friend your partner on Facebook and introduce yourself and share your story. Order Plexus catalogs in the back office. These. Just one set is fine. You need 25. Okay. Um, I want you to take the 10 people from your list that you put as hot prospects, text, email, or call them, reach out to them. Let me share something really cool with y'all. Okay. When I was in Hawaii, I sat and chatted with the several diamonds. Um, there's a, there's an Arkansas team that's growing like wildfire. I'm like, what are y'all doing? That is just crazy. Cause y'all are, y'all are like turning, you know, um, diamond so quickly and where you know where are you finding your people and you know that every single one of them um were asked 
to be an ambassador. So they didn't like just see their friend post on Facebook. Their friend contacted them. Okay. That's why I'm saying you need to contact these 10 people in your list. Um, you know, Rebecca Davis was Elizabeth James um, babysitter. Or no, Elizabeth James babysat Rebecca Davis when she was younger. Okay. She knew they were friends on Facebook. She knew she'd be great at this. She knew she was a, a mom that had, you know, with three kids that needed extra money. She knew she would, could do well at this. She knew she had a big circle of influence. So she contacted Rebecca and said, you would be crazy if you don't do this with me. And guess what? Rebecca's a diamond. She's also gone through um, um, a divorce during Plexus. So God knew she needed this. Okay. She's now a single mama making a high six figure income. So it does not matter. Um, I mean, she is being taken care of and God pulled her through this. Um, and so she's like, th you know, I thank Elizabeth all the time that she contacted me. She goes, I never would have had the courage to contact her. Okay. So reach out to those 10 people that you think have that circle of influence that would be good. If they say no, you know what? I sent out three, Jody and I sat the other day, we had breakfast and uh, we challenged each other. I, I was going to contact three people um, that were on my list and tell them why I think they'd be great at this. Do you know that not one of them has responded? Like they have nothing. No, that's not, they didn't give me a no. They didn't give me a yes. But I take that as a good sign because it's not a no. <laughs> and it's just a not right now. Maybe they're not ready. Maybe I'll contact them again. Maybe I'll post something that will, you know, light a fire under them. But they know that they're on my radar, right? So 10 people, okay? And then you're going to write down um, a typical day in your DMO where you could have fit Plexus in that you didn't. And then I want you to make a DMO of how you're going to fit, fit it in every single day. If you can work this business um, part time, but you can't work it sometimes. And also, if you give your business, because you're all business owners, okay, if you give your business um, hobby hours, you're going to get hobby pay. You give your business business hours and you're going to get business pay. Does that make sense? So you treat it like a hobby, you're going to get hobby out of it. Treat it like a business, you'll get a business out of it. Okay. Um, if your spouse is one or your kids are wondering what on earth are you doing? Let me just tell you, this is where I built my almost $23 million a year business. That is what my business does. Is that not the craziest? It's on my phone. Um, and so my kids would be like, mama is um, on her phone again. Mama's, you know, on Facebook again or whatever. Once I real, once they realized mama was working on her phone and what mama was doing was actually going to pay for us to go to, um, sea world that summer. This is when I was brand new. Um, you know, and I paid for us to go on a vacation and they saw that my work was actually bringing something and fun for them. And they, they all benefited from it. They got it. Okay. Georgia figured out I get to do travel softball because mama's plexus business. We could never have afforded that before. You know, Briley gets to do club volleyball because of mama's plexus business. My girls are in private school now because of mama's plexus business. They understand this is benefiting our whole family. And so when they understand that, they give you some space. Okay, you know, I'll get out of your hair or, you know, I won't come and try to bug you in the media room while you're doing your call. <laughs> That's all I ask. So um, anyway, get your family involved and, and get them to help you. You can even give your, your little kids um, jobs to do, you know, help them to make, get samples ready for you to staple your business card on things or whatever and get them involved so that they feel like it is a family business. Okay. So I will see y'all next Sunday night and um, I hope you do get through all the challenges this week and encourage each other, get on our wall or get on our group page. And um, I want you to, post any encouraging words that you have for people. If you have reached out to somebody and you got a positive response, share with us what you did. If you reached out to somebody and you got a negative response or you got a, and you know, re, you know, don't feel down on yourself, reach out to the group and we will encourage you to keep going. Okay. Because every no will get you closer to a yes. If you haven't gotten 10 no's today, then you're not going to get a yes. Okay. You've just got to keep reaching and keep going. Um, and most no's will eventually become a yes. Isn't that crazy? I have so many people. Some of you are on here that have told me no for a long time. I just want you to realize that. So um, anyway, and you probably or some of you are probably on here that told your sponsor no for a while too. So um, there you go. I'm going to post some encouragement, encouraging videos. I'm going to um, make this group uh, really active for us. I want y'all to, um, to be successful. 
And, you know, that's my goal now is to get as many people on my team to the top as I possibly can. Um, so there you go. That's my why. That's why I'm doing this for y'all. So, all right. Um, how do we get on the group? The group will, we'll get you on the group. We'll add you to the group. If you're not on the group yet, we'll add you to the group. The group is, um, it's called the six week challenge group. I think it's, you know, really simple. Nah, I couldn't, I wasn't very creative. When I made up the group. Sorry y'all. Um, but that's what it is. I figured it would be easy to find, put it in your favorites. Do y'all know how to do that on your groups? Um, save it in your favorites so that it comes up quick. And then if you don't have it yet, Hang on. Do you see how there's a groups app right here? Get that groups app and it will put all your groups on there so you don't have to get onto Facebook every time. Does that make sense? So you just click on your groups app. Look in my, my six week tough love challenge was first thing that pops up. Um, but look, so like I, I clicked on my groups app and it's got all my groups there. And so I can easily scroll. I've got like hundreds of groups cause y'all all have added me to your team pages, which is awesome. But um, anyway, be sure to add it to your favorites so that you see and make sure you see the notifications for it. You know, some groups you can just turn the notifications off. I want y'all to see the notifications. So I want you to be encouraged every single day during this challenge. Okay. All right, guys. Do y'all have any questions for me? Let me look on the chat real quick. <laughs> DMO. Okay. Just so y'all know your DMO is your daily method of operation. So you're going to, uh, on that one challenge, I think it was number five or six, you're going to write down your, um, write down what you did for a day. And then I want you to, um, go in, fill in the blanks where you could have put plexus. And then I want you, your D, your DMO, your blank DMO, your blank page DMO is like your actual times, especially if you have a full-time job. You may only be able to work plexus like at your lunch hour or on breaks, schedule that schedule plexus in. It is success is not by accident. Y'all you have to work for it. Okay. Like, hang on. Let me look at, I don't want to skip this up. There we go. Do partners need to read the same book? It might be good if they did. You don't have to. Um, okay. Oh, three points. If you promote or anybody on your team promotes um, uh, for you, if you promote. Okay. You know what? I think that we should do three points. If somebody on your team that you've helped promotes too. Okay. I like that. I like that plan too. All right. Any other questions before we, before we go? Um, I will list the partners um, on our group and um, actually I will probably just send it to y'all instead of putting it out for everybody. Okay. And um, I've got, um, I also am only doing partners with people who have sent me their emails. So um, that's the big ticket. Y'all got to email me um, your, your why, and then um, I'm going to, the rest of everything else will be posted in the group. Okay. Um, that's it. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will see y'all next Sunday and I'll see y'all in the group. And I'm so excited that you're here. We're going to have so much fun. So bye y'all. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. See you. Stop recording.